I will help this team win the Super Bowl. That's my promise to you. Guys. day after they get drafted aren't talking about how priority one is win the Super Bowl, but you said that in there. Like I said, the ultimate goal each and every year is to win the Super Bowl. Um, you know, there's only one team that does that each and every year. You know, it's my job to keep, you know, um, trying to do my part, I mean, especially on the defensive side and, and just in the locker room off the field, the leader I could be, you know, just the, the small detail things that we could, you know, do better as a team to get over that small little hump because, you know, we so close each and every year since I've been here. You know, it's not a year. I mean, I've been here three years, one on four now. Each and each year I've been in the playoff. Uh, so uh, we have we have chances. It's just just the small things, like I said, just to get over that hump. And um, hopefully it's this year. A lot of people would have thought you just would have said that that day to play to the audience. But we've come to know you meant that 100 percent. Takes confidence to say that, though. Some people would say, oh, that's too big a, a goal to put out there. But you were never afraid to do that. Why? I mean, because I know me personally, I, I hate to lose. Um, you know, I. I grew up a winner, being a winner. Um, you know, in high school, me, I, I won three state championships in high school. Being around around winners, you know, even with, when I got here with Coach Brave, you know, I could tell he wanted to win. You know, when you have guys like Coach Brave and you know the all coaching staff that, you know, you go out there, you want to win for them guys because they get you prepared, they coach you hard, they into it with you, like they they excited with you, especially on game day. You know, um, so that, that make you want to like win. We, you know, um, they always say it's kind of like a domino effect. When you rub that up into your teammates and um, have that type of energy and positive mindset around your teammates, it's kind of everyone started, you know, gelling together and be like, we could really do this. Hey man, it ain't much to be said, man. It's time to lock them gates. Yes, sir. Cause all back is against the wall, but guess what? We gonna play this together. We gonna be together, we gonna get this win together, man. Let's go out there and dominate from start to finish, man. That talk and that do it. Hey, together on three, one, two, three. One of the things I like to see most in sports is when a guy gets hot. And you think about Steph Curry playing basketball. When he starts putting up threes, you know it's going in. Did it feel that way for you, getting hot in that Rams game last year when you started sacking the quarterback like, Every time you rush the passer. And when I hit that field, you know, I just felt like we was going to gel together as a team, you know. I, and, and like I said, it wasn't just me, you know. I, like some, one, I remember one of the sacks that I got, the Nico had a great rush on the other guard and made Stafford set, uh, step up in the pocket, and I got the sack. So, um, of course, like, you know, I had three sacks, but, you know, to be honest, all the problems go to the guys around me. Even on the, um, the, the pick David got in the end zone, like when I had him wrapped up, he threw it. It's just all, we ran a game, all three of us, um, um, guys who ran the game was on the same page. So if it wasn't for them guys, man, I wouldn't, you know, be able to get them opportunity to be able to rush, you know, with the one-on-one -on -one when I pulled a guy um, to um, the quarterback. You know, just by Danico winning his rushes, so happened he got the slide and I was able to get a one-on-one. -on -one. So I, I would say just us up front, the four uh, working together on Sundays is making it easier for each and every one of us. What is it like when you feel like there is nobody in the world that can stop you? I feel like that every time I step on the field, honestly. I mean, my my, my mindset, I, I just want to be dumb. And I want to take the field with a uh, mentality that, you know, I want to scare people. You know, I want to scare people that when I take the field, like they be like, okay, he coming to play today. And um, it's not one of them guys, I don't want to be one of them guys, like he going to take a playoff. They know, you know, because you watch film, you see, all right, this guy taking the playoff. They know when he coming, they know he going to take a playoff. I want every time that offensive lineman look over, you know, I want him to think like he coming. I have to bring my best each and every snap. Every year you've played in the league, you've gotten better. If you've gotten better in 2022, at the end of the year, what will have happened for Jeffrey Simmons? 
my goal is to help create more turnovers on our defense because that was one of our emphasis coming out last year. We have to get the ball more. So if I could get a strip set, if I could create a batted ball to get a uh, create an interception, it's things like that where, you know, that's going to help us get over them smaller humps, like more turnovers. So I feel like just my dominance being um, attacked, attack the offensive line each and every snap, you know, not taking no plays off, you know, all the other stuff going to come, but I mean, I'm standing on it. My end goal is to try to win the Super Bowl here.